Epic one guys, how you going? Steve here, welcome back to Command Center Wargaming. Alright, fantastic everybody. Look, so, massive announcement here today, there's a few of them. Uh, I want to outline some of the videos that are coming up on the channel, it's going to be epic. Uh, first of all, we've just passed a thousand subscribers, although at least last time I checked we had. So, that's awesome, um, that's a massive milestone for us here. Uh, and everyone here at uh, Command Center Wargaming, everyone, me and you guys, okay? Um, so that, that that's absolutely huge, everybody, because it's basically, it's chapter approved. You know, it's like, you know, codex compliant. Um, it means that we're good enough uh, to be, you know, a substantial YouTube channel. And we've done this in about six months. It says seven, but that's because, you know, I don't count the three weeks I was moving. Um, but look, just want to thank everybody as well for sticking by us and uh, hanging around. So that's that's really epic. And uh, there's going to be some really awesome stuff coming as well, uh, which is going to be fantastic. I've got the green screen room set up downstairs. Just started setting that up today. I'm still unpacking, moving stuff around, but, uh, but it's all coming uh, getting, uh, getting set up. So, uh, it's going to be, going to be pretty epic, pretty epic. Now, um, what we're going to be having a look at today, uh, I went and I did a thing. Um, I went and got myself some contrast paints, right? So basically over here, I went and got some contrast paints and, uh, I'm going to be going through them with you, uh, my thoughts on those today. And uh, I've had a little bit of a play with them, but uh, I, I'm going to also go through and, uh, and do a little bit more work. And I'm actually going to make some tutorials. So we're going to do an Alpha Legion tutorial, a Blood Angels tutorial, um, and we'll play around with some of the paints and, you know, see what kind of schemes we can, we can come up with. And, um, and I'll let you know about that. And what I've actually found is, look, they're, I, I still don't rate them as like a premium paint that you like, you know what I mean? Like you must have for your collection. Um, you know, I'm always going to go with like, you know, the real stuff, um, you know, but at the same time with that said, um, you know, I, I think they're not as bad as what I thought. Okay. Um, they they are amateur. I'm sorry. I don't want to offend anyone. I'm just going to be straight up. Um, but they're actually not as bad as, as what I originally thought. So it's, um, you know, there, there, there is a use for them here and there. Um, and I have figured out how to sort of control them to make them not look so crap, you know, with pooling and stuff like that, which I'm going to put into the tutorials. Um, but still, look, I, I, I'm sorry, everybody. I'm, I'm going to go for the real stuff. And I'll, I'll show you that um, right now. So the biggest thing with the contrast paints is basically that, well, there's, there's two main flaws of them, all right? Now, there are positives as well, but the first thing is the main flaw that I have is basically that they seem to suffer, uh, you know, the sort of like this drawback that I found all Games Workshop glazes kind of suffered from compared to other paints, you know, which was the fact of the matter is here's something that I, I glazed over in contrast. All right, I'll see. Hopefully I can get that up to the camera. All right, hopefully we, we can get that get that going there on the autofocus. All right, and so so look, basically, this guy here, all right, and you can see that there. Now, one thing you'll notice is, now I managed to get rid of that patchy pooling crap that happens with contra contrast paints, and I'll show you how to do that, okay? Um, but one, one thing you'll notice is, is basically that, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's very flat. It's very dull, okay? Now, at first, you might be like, oh, nah, man, like, that looks that looks really cool. You know, that's, you know, sort of got this metallic finish. Now, this is this is meant to be a glaze. I've gone through, I've glazed this. But, but that's what you think about at first until you see, like, if you can actually compare that to, you know, one of my actual, you know, with the real deal, with the real deal paint, with my real deal paint. And you have a look at the two of them, Hopefully you can see that on camera. You have a look at the two of them and you can really see like, you know, one's shining and one's sort of like really flat. All right. So basically that's the first drawback and pr pretty much like what I feel is the major drawback of the contrast paints. And that is, is that 
you know, they glaze on and they actually burn into the, the actual paint job itself. Um, whereas, you know, once again, there are a hundred other paints, um, basically that can go through and, and, and you don't get that effect. Like the paint I just showed you then. Um, then there's other paints, right? So this one here is, um, is, uh, plasma fluid, right? From Minotaur, which are also like really, really, really good. Okay. So this is another example of, you know, again, once again, you know, contrast being outdone. Okay. Um, these are some other paints that I've been experimenting with. So obviously these are like my failed Alpha Legion experiments. I've got my, you know, my, I've got my scheme for my Alpha Legion there, but I've been doing a lot of research into it and, um, and going through. And again, here's some more, uh, plasma fluids, right? With ghost tints. All right. Now, these are these are um, Minotaur paints. They're from, I believe, they're from Badger, all right? And um, you know, like this. I'm sorry, but this runs rings over contrast, right? And and mind you, this isn't even my primary. That's that's not even my my scheme. This is that's just stuff I was I was playing around with, all right? So um, you know, but with that said. You know, it's basically just like, there are other options. There are better options out there, you know, than, than the, than the contrast stuff. Um, but you know, look, as I said, they're, 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 they're not too bad. They're not as bad as what I thought they would be. All right. Um, so with that said, the other big problem is, is with the pooling, but I've, I've managed to solve a lot of the pooling. Um, the pooling isn't really a problem. I'm going to show you that in the tutorial if you're interested. And um, that'll be, I'll be filming those tomorrow and putting them up tomorrow. I might do it all in the one video. I might do it in separate videos. Basically depends, see what happens. Um, but essentially what it involves is you just got to make sure you choke your airbrush and pump a lot of air through it so that it you know, sort of disperses that pooling. But the problem is, once again, with the, with the, um, with the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Not the plasma fluids, the, uh, the contrast paints is, even when you disperse it, all that pooling basically goes and, and flattens it out. And you can see that sort of burning in there as well. All right, but um, yeah. But look, there are a few tricks I've come up with. All right, and uh, we will be going through it and we're going to be making uh, a little bit of a tutorial on that. And uh, as I say, like uh, right now, so I've got the uh, contrast blood angels red, which we'll be going through. Now, this is actually a really interesting one, and uh, it, it does a decent. Well, I wouldn't even say decent, but it does a metallic red finish. Uh, I'm not. I'm not going to go as far as to push it any further than that, but you can do it with it. Uh, basically, uh, you know, I have a whole Blood Angels army here that needs finishing and I'm thinking, look, it's not going to win any awards, this paint, but you know, if I can get the stuff painted, which is, I guess what it, it's meant to do, then that's going to be awesome, right? Like I'm just going to just do the whole thing in this. Um, you know, also Thousand Suns, this kind of works a little bit as well. You put in a, like a gold undercoat, you know, it kind of works, but Again, once again, Tamiya Clear Red is going to kick this in the head. That rhymes. Um, and also, you know, Accolade 2, uh, which is Candy Red. All right. And you can see on my, um, in the channel there, I did a bit of experimenting with Candy Red before with MIG even. Right. With just different sort of reds and coppers and things like that. So, you know, again, there are better options, but you can do with this. And it's not a complete write-off. Now, all right. And, um, yeah, now just quickly what I'm going to do. So I know I've just, again, I've blasted these paints once again, and you're probably saying, well, Steve, if you hate them so much, why are you bothering? And well, the reason is, is because there are some good things about this paint, right? They do do skins decently with a dry brush over the top. They do do sort of cloth and that sort of not as bad as what it is on armor, Right, it's usable, it's doable, okay? Um, and there's one really important thing about it, okay? They're pretty easy to use. Now, when I say easy to use, 
I don't mean like they're, you know, obviously they, there's things that you have to do. You know, there's going to be pooling, there's going to be thinning you might have to do. You might have to set your airbrush up a bit. Good luck using this with a brush. I don't think I'd use it with a brush, to be honest. I've seen some, um, some vehicle, some vehicle examples with people using this as a brush and it's, uh, it doesn't look very good. I'll be honest. Uh, it's all patchy everywhere and stuff. But, um, what I mean by ease of use, I mean it's it's relatively safe, right? Like I mentioned, Accolade 2 Candy Red. You know, guys, the setup time for that is crazy. You know, even with a gas mask, you, you know, you're going to get a headache from it. The stuff is toxic. You know, this stuff is relatively fine. Like, you know, um, you know, it's 12 and up, you know. You don't need gloves and a gas mask and, and a visor to use the stuff, all right? Um, you know, and, and I mean, even Tomaya paints, you know, I'm a massive fan of Tomaya paints, um, you know, but they can be, you know, a little bit overbearing, even the acrylic ones. Okay. So, you know, I mean, no one wants to breathe in any paint, right? But at least with the acrylic ones, they're a little bit safer. All right. And that's what I mean. And they go on, they go on pretty easy once you know what you're doing. You know, are they dope? I, I'm sorry, no, I'm still not going to say that they're like this revolutionary paint. And that's what I think it's about. Like, you know, um, I still think there are a hundred alternatives. After trying them now, formally, I still think there are a hundred alternatives to it that do it better. I still think that basically, um, you know, that, you know, like they're okay, but I just don't think they're this saving grace that like Games Workshop say they are. Right, and I mean, like I said here, just going back to, you know, some Alpha Legion stuff right then and there. Okay, we're going to just have a look at these guys. You can see the one on the end is, um, is, the, uh, is the contrast, right? And these boys here, they're basically the, uh, you know, my other sort of paint schemes and things like that, Right? Okay, and like, I'm sorry, but you can see this guy, it's very, very burnt out, right? That guy right there in the center of the screen, he's very burnt out. Whereas compared to the other two, or the other three or four, whatever, okay, you can see there, they got a nice sheen, nice glow. And like I'm saying, this is like, these are no secret paints, everybody. Like, I mean, these are just normal paints. One of these is literally a Vallejo paint. Like, I can't remember what, was it, what, what it was now, but, um, you know, no big secrets, Okay, so like, you know, I mean, and that's what I'm saying with Games Workshop. If they're going to come out and they're going to say, you know, all oh, this new paint that's changing the game, um, you know, well, then you've basically got to make sure that it's doing that because it's not really doing anything new, right? And I mean, you know, I've made a few comments on Facebook and stuff and forums and that, and you get the Games Workshop, you know, fanboys coming out and, you know, attacking you and, you know, all this kind of stuff. And it's just like, like, guys, I'm sorry. I'm not going to sit there, tell you, tell you that this paint is what it's not. I'm going to give you the, the honest opinion. Anyway, here we go. So that's my contemptor that's coming up now uh, against the plasma fluid. And this contemptor is just about the scheme that I've settled on, right? And uh, you can see, like, automatically... Here, okay, you could see that this uh, the difference, right? You could see one's like completely blown out. It's just like almost frosted glass, okay. And the other one is like you know really nice and shiny, keeps the metallic finish, you know, act actually keeps the the translucent translucence of it. So yeah, I'll be I'll be sticking with my real deal paint, you know. Um, I don't care how many snowflakes, you know, want to basically, you know, sook on Facebook and uh, I'll say basically what I want. So all good. But um, yeah, so look, fantastic. Um, I've also got, so there's uh, Acralian Green. Now that's a decent 40k Alpha Legion one. Uh, I'm going to take you through that one. I do have a Acralian Green here somewhere. Or did I paint over him? Oh, I think I might have painted over him because he's a bit, yeah, whatever. But I mean, look, if you know, if you're after it, like a quick 40k Alpha Legion scheme, you could definitely use it. It's more blue than green as well, so it gives you that turquoise. 
Um, once again, I prefer my, 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 my hard stuff, but, um, but you definitely can use it. Um, and then, uh, then we've got this one, which is the Tassar Blue, or Talisar Blue, or it is called. And uh, this one here is actually not too bad. Again, like, it's got a really good color, but once again, the problem is it burns. It just burns the model. Like, th this one, this guy here, the contrast guy I showed you before, that was Talisar Blue. All right, and if it just wasn't for that, that burning of the model, I like, it'd be okay. Now, look, one thing I'll try in the next video, I'll try to varnish over it. Maybe if we varnish over it, I've also got a pearl varnish here. I'm going to try to put that over the top, really trying to, you know, um, pump the paints up. I mean, like, it's not, you know, it's within, you know, like, it, I'm not out to sink these paints, you know. I'm not, you know, I don't have this vendetta or this agenda to prove that these paints are bad. But I'm going to basically say it how I see it um, and based off my results. I'm not just going to sit here and chill out for Games Workshop, you know. So, um, you know, as much as I love Games Workshop... You know, and there's, you know, fantastic stuff that they do. Like, you know, one of the best paints I think they do is the No Oil Gloss. Like, that paint is like the paint from the gods, in my opinion. And that's a Citadel paint. But I'll, I'll say how it is, you know. Um, and then this Arithmetic Blue. So this is meant to be a special effects paint. But um, I'm going to try some combos with it and uh, see if we can get it to mix in with the Talisar Blue to create like a kind of more of a 30k Alpha Legion look, um, if that's your thing, so, yeah, all right, and um, so yeah, so look, that's what's coming up, uh, over the next few days, I'm going to be getting those out, uh, we've also got a couple of drawers to get through, and uh, I've got a Fire Raptor gunship as well coming, so that's in the post now, so I'm going to be doing assembly video with that and, and going through stuff like that as well. Some uh, Sakara and Venatar tanks, which I'll be doing up. I don't know if I'll do a painting tutorial for them because uh, I'm still like trying to concentrate on my army as it is. Got to get that done for the events. Um, but I definitely might do an unboxing for it because all the sort of Forge World stuff, um, I'm definitely going to jump on and, and give an unbox. But um, yeah, so pretty awesome as well. Now, one thing you might notice coming up, so what we will be doing is you might notice, like, could, it could take a month or so, I don't know, but we've reached a 1,000 subscribers. So you might notice, you might see these little banner ads pop up down the bottom of these videos. Now, that's basically there to raise money for the prizes for the channel, okay? That's what's there to do. That's what it, that's for. That's why I've been trying to get the channel up to 1,000 subscribers for the last six months pumping my own money into prizes. So that way, you know, if we have some income on the channel, then I can then give you more prizes, right? So that's what that's about. You can just basically click them. You can you can just click off them, whatever. They're not going to hurt you. I'm not going to be putting on those annoying, you know, start, middle, end, crazy ads or anything like that at this time. Um, but like I said, I, I, I do want, you know, to have some revenue there to give back to you guys um, so I can do more prize draws. All right. And, um, you know, yeah, so it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So, like, as I said, we'll see how it goes. Look, if it's annoying people or people are hell-bent against it, then I might just take it off. Um, but then you've just got to understand that, like, you know, if, um, you know, I mean, if, if we're not going to, you know, have any, you know, incoming finance, then, you know, we can't have as many prizes. I've always said that. I've said that from the word go. Um, you know, we need to we need to sort of generate that revenue um, from somewhere. Now, you know, I'm, I'm good, you know, I'm not out to do this for a job or anything. I've got enough jobs, all right? Um, but at the same time, you know, like the channel sort of needs to be able to support itself at least. It doesn't have to be a, a profit, um, you know, but at least has to be able to support itself, you know, so I can give you guys more Warhammer, all right? So awesome. Fantastic. All right, everybody. Well, look, I think this will be the, me for today. Um, I think we've gone through enough for right now. And stay tuned to the channel. And I'm going to put those tutorial videos up tomorrow. And we've got some other videos coming as well. Um, some really, really good ones. And like I said, like hopefully um, I'm going to go through and when we're going to increase the production value of those videos, try to make them a little bit more informative. Um, I'm going to be opening up 
maybe an elite archive, right, where we can have uh, special subscribers come and have VIP access and things like that, which is going to be cool. And um, I'm actually toying with some ideas as well uh, in creating like an actual Warhammer documentary. So there'll be more about that on the uh, channel. Now, I mean like not just a YouTube thing, but an actual documentary where we go to CanCon, we go to like, um, you know, the ICT events and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to, uh, I've asked only Adonis if he's interested. Maybe we can get Adonis to help us out with some of the stuff in the States. I could cover the Australian stuff. Um, but I think it'd be really cool to have like a, like a full serious doco, you know, um, you know, and, uh, yeah, but anyway, look, so we'll, we'll have a look at that as we go. And, um, for now, look, I just want to thank you all once again for, uh, watching and, uh, being a subscriber. If you are a subscriber, like, you know, my thanks, you know, for the emperor and, uh, it's really fantastic. Everybody. I, I started this thing six months ago or so. And I remember when I first started it, you know, people were sitting there bagging me out on Facebook, you know, oh, you know, you don't know enough, you don't do this, you're never going to make it. And then now, you know, we're sitting here all together, enjoying ourselves and, and, uh, and, and, you know, we're, we're past a thousand subscribers. So, you know, there's, there's the one thing that, that I love and that's just seeing people eat their words, you know, just with the shovel, bitch, eat it. Because, like I said from the beginning, Command Center Wargaming is here to stay. Alright, because what this channel is for me, it's a passion. And it allows me to get another dimension for the hobby that I love, alright, out there. You know, and I like talking about it, I like playing the game, I love painting the game. You know, I love talking to you guys about it. I, you know, I think we've got to get this Discord going as well, so we can get more in the community um, and everything. So it's going to be fantastic, everybody. We're not going anywhere. Um, and, and it's going to be epic. I'm telling you, it has been epic. It has been epic and it's going to get more epic. All right. So yeah. Oh, in case you're wondering, this is actually stuff from my games. Um, I'm not my actual games that I, that I make. Uh, sorry, I'm not, that's, not a, that's not an advertising thing. It's just a shirt I went to work in today and the cup I was using. But if anyone is interested... Um, you know, that's from my actual intellectual property, but like I said, I've got enough jobs. This channel is here for my love of Warhammer and my admiration. And, and I won't say love cause that sounds a little bit slaneshi, but you know, my, my commitment to you, the viewers and, and my thanks, you know, and, um, and that's what I'm here for. And, and like I've always said, as, as long as there is, we're going to have five subscribers when this channel had 20 subscribers. I love doing it just as much then with 20 subscribers as what there are with a thousand subscribers. And I'll tell you why. And that is because our subscribers are the best subscribers, right? You look at our videos and I don't care. I don't care what, you know, little twirly moustache and APC wargaming, Braden getting tabled by drones. That's another video. Yes, it happened. Um, only Adonis told me about it. I couldn't stop laughing all night. Basically, all that kind of stuff. Our videos, even as small as our channel is, you go look at channels with 10,000 subscribers, they got less co communication in the comments than us. Our community is, is epic. And, you know, like I said, our community, like, you know, in the comments, you just got to read the comments. You just got to see the people interacting with each other. And, um, and, and you can see there that, like, you know, we really, really punch above our weight. And, you know, the channel's going to grow more and it's it's going to be awesome. All right, everybody, look, fantastic. Steve here, Command Center Wargaming. I will see you in the next video. It's going to be epic. Thank you once again, brothers and sisters, okay, and whichever, and people, all right, um, for supporting the channel. And, like, it's my pleasure and it's going to be epic. I'll see you in the next one.